வெல்கம் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ டிசைன் ஆஃப் சப்சேஷன் கேண்ட்ரி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இன் யூரோ கோட் வித் ரோபோட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அனாலிசிஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஸ்டேஜ் த்ரீ தட் இஸ் அ ஃபைனல் ஸ்டேஜ் இன் திஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சிலிண்டர்னஸ் கேல்குலேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் சிலிண்டர்னஸ் செக் மெம்பர் சைஸிங் ஆஃப் வேரியஸ் மெம்பர் குரூப் சச் அஸ் மெயின் லெக் கிராஸ் பிரேசிங் ஹரிசண்டல் பிரேசிங் கேர்டர் லெக் கேர்டர் பிரேசிங் லைக் வைஸ் and after applying this member size and uh, earlier our video we had applied the primary load and uh, load combinations to the model so after applying this uh, all those parameter we are going to run the analysis and we are going to do the design in a robot structural analysis and finally we are going to find the result of a member design which are shown in this table and in the right hand side pictures the uh, utilization ratio so before going to watch this video you are requested to visit our earlier videos for stage 1 which explain how to apply the primary load to the model and the stage 2 which explain the load combinations process in robot structural analysis and also the other related video such as how to model the substation gantry structure in robot structural analysis and how to calculate the substation gantry structure loads so these video links are provided in the description you can watch before watching this video now let me go to the demonstration so this is a model which we had developed and we had also applied the, uh, the primary load and we had done the load combinations also for applying the primary load and the load combinations you can refer our previous videos the videos links are given in the descriptions now we are going to check the suddenness ratio for every members or member groups so you can see the en503491 part 1 in the right hand side so in this we need to refer page number 197 96 so here you can see the recommended maximum sentinel ratio for main leg is 120 similar like we need to refer page number 127 for primary and secondary bracings for primary bracing it is set 200 and for secondary bracing it is 240 so here are those value next we need to refer page number 200 for horizontal beam legs so here you can see the maximum centeredness of the horizontal member shall not exceed 250 so those values are listed here so here is a definition are given for iyy and ivv value it's a radius of gyration about y y axis and v v axis respectively so this will vary according to the section or a profile of any member here in page number 197 there are some definitions are given how to calculate this centeredness ratio actual centeredness ratio it is 1 into height or span of the member divided by i so in what cases we need to consider ivv and iyy are explained here so based upon this picture if the leg member is connected with a symmetrical bracing we need to consider ivv now we can mark the dimensions on each group so that we can able to check the sandness ratio so for that go to tools click a dimension line mark here it is 1.6 we know that for all the group which we had done for tower the same length that is 1.6 is going to come so accordingly we need to mark the dimension so after marking all the dimensions in each group so based upon the 
figure J.3 which is given in uh, EN50341 part 2 1 in page number 197 so this is for uh, main leg members according to the uh, symmetrical bracings or intermediate or transverse support or leg with the staggered bracing what kind of uh, slenderness we need to calculate so those informations are given in this like for uh, leg with uh, symmetrical bracing that is a picture showing a and b for this case we need to consider 1 into l and divided by ivv so it is ivv is nothing but it is a radius of gyration in vv axis so axis are shown in here in the picture in between the b and c so likewise we need to consider which IYY or IVV to be followed for the leg members. A similar like in picture J4 for cross bracings it is well explained how to calculate the slenderness ratio. So based upon the dimension which we had calculated in this robot structural analysis according to the group and the slenderness method the radius of gyration to be considered we had developed this excel calculation so based upon the group we had enter those information here and select those sections which is required for the each group and the type of member because here you can see that a leg member is having 120 as a limitation of slenderness and primary bracing and secondary bracing are having 200 and 240 respectively for horizontal beam it is 250 so accordingly we need to split this type of a member so here you can see the actual slenderness calculation which is done using the formula above which is provided in 50341 and the limitation is considered by applying the VLOOK formula by linking this member type and finally the utilization usage factor or usage coefficient or usage percentage is calculated so these are less than 100 so hence the member size is safe so likewise we need to finalize the member size then we are going to apply this member size into our robot sectoral model so this member showing section size as per the group we are going to add in this robot structural model so before that you can delete this dimension line which is not required furthermore select in object inspector and press delete in keyboard so we can select now group T leg 1 so in that you can see here the grade of material we can change to 355 and the member section sizes already it is considering 150 by 15 only okay then we can select the next group so here also by default it is considering 120 by 12 and the grade only we have to change as 355 next one is uh, leg 3 yes it is considered same so likewise we need to do it for all the group members so now all the sizes are applied to this you can check here this group for girder side bracings is showing 60 by 60 with 355 grade so this grade you can change 
based upon the requirement of the project or the customer and this sizes we had arrived based upon the centerness calculation set so next we are going to do the design we are going to do the analysis and design of this whole structure now click now this calculation button which is just below the main menu which usually used to look like a calculator in a red color instability of type 1 is detected type 1 is not a major thing we can ignore this <coughs> so you can see why this instability is caused as we had assigned this entire as a trust member there may be some area may be subject to in the uh, instability so that is uh, not a, a problem so the next we need to uh, design the member so go to design in the main tab click design of uh, members uh, seal members design in that for member verification we need to enter only the structural member this 2001 to 2008 is dummy member which we had created in our model stage and only the 1171570 is a structural member we can also check here by copy paste here and the press enter in keyboard you can see here all the structural members are selected in blue color and except this dummy member all the structural members are selected now the load case we have not define any sls cases we are having only uls cases in that cases also 1 to 29 is not applicable because those are a primary load cases so we can delete it and 201 to 213 and 301 to 313 are the uls load cases which we are having and here in the structural member again 1 to 570 click calculations so now the calculation is running you can see the status bar here yes now the calculation is done so here it is mentioned angle is not checked for buckling generally this is a trust member so there won't be any buckling check is required and members setting as something is given here these are the members are not subject to a buckling check like as it is mentioned in the message box so that is not a problem for us so go to result you can see here all the members are passed it is stating okay okay means it is passed there is inst no instability also there is no failure of the structure also so we can click this calculation note and a list of structural member 1 to 570 click simplified notes so the simplified notes are developed here so we can also convert this into pdf by clicking the print option in top menu and if you want a detailed calculation also you can click this uh, calculation note and click the list of member under that full note and click okay so that full note will be generated so this is a full calculation notes where it is self explained about the calculation and its formula and also standard reference with some small sketches record for the calculation to be submitted for documentation purpose so you can also make this as a pdf next we can see other results also so you can click this result and get the reactions so suppose you want to get only the combinations load calculation reaction means you can 
select here this uh, tab and remove this 1 to 29 and press enter you will get only for the combinations so similar like if you want to get to the stress diagram you can click this and select which stress is required so this is the force value shear forces and vertical forces of the each member and you can also find the bending moment bending moment is generally not applicable for this gantry support structure for each members because all the members are subject to uh, tension and compression or shear so similar like we can also find out the deformation of any node so only here there are some deformation as it is giving that instability result and if we want you can also find out the stress graph the stress values are defined here maximum stress is 10 mega pascal or 10 mega newton per millimeter square meter square so like if you want to get the shear value there is no shear in ty so like if we can get uh, any of the reaction so these are the result uh, we can able to extract from over structural analysis after completion of analysis and the ratio if you want to get the ratio value you click this parameter and select text so you can see the usage ratio or usage factor so that's all about this design of a substation gantry structure in euro code with robot structural analysis we will see in more technical video later thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you